Hello friends, this, is, this video is our first theoretical based video. Okay, so let's start. Basically, remote sensing is a very important issue at present day. So in this video, we, we will get a little idea about remote sensing. Remote means away from or at a distance, while sensing mean, meaning detecting a property or characteristic. So thus the term remote sensing refers to the examination, measurement and analysis of an object without being in contact with it. Remote sensing is the science and art of acquiring information about earth surface without actually being in contact with it. This is done by sensing and recording or emitted energy and processing analysis and applying that information. So now we can discuss about the remote sensing system. For remote sensing we need the electromagnetic energy that comes from the sun. Now the energy of the sun falls on different surface of the earth like building, water body, vegetation etc. Surface of the earth that object absorbs some amount of this energy and reflects some amount. The amount of energy absorbed by the object is called emitted energy and the amount of energy reflected from the object is called reflected energy. So now some sensors are placed in specific orbits to collect this reflected energy. The sensors convert this related energy into a photographic image or electrical data. The data is now sent to the earth station where data processing and analyze here and the collect information about the object or place. So we saw in the previous slide some components are needed for remote sensing. Now we will discuss about them. At first, energy source or illumination. The first requirement for remote sensing is to have an energy source with the illuminates or provides electromagnetic energy to the target of interest. Second thing is that interaction with the target once the energy makes its way to target through the atmosphere it intersect with the target depending on the properties of both the target and the radiation recording of energy by the sensor next after the energy has been scattered by or emitted from the target we require a sensor to collect and record the electromagnetic radiation. Next, transmission, reception and processing. The energy record by the sensor has to be transmitted often in electronic form to receiving and processing station where the data are processed into an image. Interpretation and analysis. The proceed image is interpreted visually and digitally or electro electronically to extract information about the target which was illuminated. And the final is application. The final element of the remote sensing process is achieved when we apply the information we have been able to extract from the imagery about the target 
in order to better understand it. Some of the important application of remote sensing technology are like environmental assessment, then agriculture, like uh, crop condition, yield prediction, soil erosion measurement, etc. Then mapping, we can use remote sensing as the mapping purpose like topographical map making, land use map making, map making etc. Thank you. The next video topic will be GPS or global positioning system.